look soon at that. That must be Fadovit's camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from half- Fadovit! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow! Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Fanavid. The Picts raided that monastery. Plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. Gold is fine. The victory is our treasure. What's your plan? To open their bellies with my knife. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I'll bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! Watch for ambushes. Should have stayed in Donacast. More need, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way, and we'll watch your back. Sneaky lots. Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care.
Show me what lies ahead. Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, all. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away.
made in good and godly places. I should be home filling my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, <laughs> boil your head. Go we'll gang for them. <laughs> Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dead! Run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Oh, Faster! Ulfra! Ulfra! Glory for Ulfra! They'll tell the chief! <laughs> Don't let them get inside! Stop them! That's the last one. The Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the Picts make war? Ah! <laughs> 
Let's see you, old friend. Ah! 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 
You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there! Ulfur, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The Picts are at Markness. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. You won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. There are no secrets in this world, or the next. The Old Father sees everything. We need not fear Odin's eye, only Hafton's wrath. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. 
Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at the place called the Walls. Like his cock, eh? What? Dark spirits torment this land. Often. It helps the brew stay down. <gasps> Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. Soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The pigs were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this.
Is he taunting me? Faramid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guys, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use! Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asks for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Magnus. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen. Unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible! Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bionton! We're going for a walk down to the temple. Yeah. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding after. Day to you, Eivor. Here for some contracts by any chance? Come back any time, my friend. Moira is not here. Letter came from Weaker. She must have gone there. We should go to Weaker. Find Moira.
small village. Marva's house must be. It's a small village. Marva's house must be near. away again then it'll be the last thing you see Moira it is safe to go Safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. out there. Hafton, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. We could be spying from above. Olav? Speak to us! Where are you? 
surveyed the area. clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Be Anton may trackis attackis. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Boy, we will paint the ground with their blood. Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. abandoned. Are you sure someone is here? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Entrance. It might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of the clouds. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond?
Hold on, we'll find a way through. I can't get through! The way is blocked! There must be a way to let half that through. An opening of great size. moment. Can't do this alone.
Ram, help me with this. The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> she also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. Shh. This is all I want to These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. And half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. That was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl. For battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him! This is treason. And treason is punishable by death. Faravid treated us better than you ever did. Faravid is nothing, and you are less. Glory! Glory for Ultra! <laughs> My hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He. <coughs> Forgive me. I, I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Pichiringa.
Press him, Eivor. As hard as you can. Never let up. And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Ferret the rat. Words of poison in... Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days. Now, too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. 
Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Your horse can smell the ale dripping from your mouth. You frighten her. It warms my heart that you're concerned. Fly! Show Faravid our asses! <laughs> Having trouble keeping it. My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yaw? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I'd prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Risha answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am...
confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishia, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your armors for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishia will accept them. Cure of Jorvik could help. Good. Cure's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. <sighs> I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last. Oh. I need your eyes, my friend. To reason. Give us your coin, you bloody robbers! You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains!
Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. What happened to the silver you took from Aldon? You could hire a band of sellswords with that much. It won't be enough. We need Rishia's Saxons at our side. Any fewer would be a death sentence. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Farabit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't. But he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. I can out drink in our rocks. Avar, join You're me for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> did last time. Ugh.
drinking, I'll drink it up. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. You think you could guzzle the grog? Or prove it! Give me some There's drinking to be done! Who's with you? Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rhesius sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Halfton's hand, as you see. Hmm, yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Farovic should be waiting at Stenweir.
Where's Hafta and Yarl? Will he be here? Eivor, good to see you. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. <laughs> Have them join us and stay home out of spite. Be a good fight. I have faith in it. Part of its plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Part of its army. Amor, over here. Are the shields ready? The battle is near. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Jarl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days where the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. I came here for Hafton, to prove my worth and loyalty to him. You brought this down upon yourself. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. These picks came in great numbers.
turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken! Yes, who are you to speak? How grew told my Eivor? I came here for Hafton to prove enough. Luffy, look, right.
men! These pigs came. Turn to the sub wimp. I will have your head, Alicia! Die, you bastard!
I need to get that drawbridge down. Open for the coward King Rishi. Taste of victory! And the Rishi had defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishi may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow.
You meet the spirits this day, traitor.
faithful counselor. Please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon, you will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this Shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Hafton about. Eivor, welcome. Hafton has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. Let's see. Go, Zulin. I struggle to be surprised. Must be blocked from the other side. Oh, I shouldn't have been. Fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. Old friend. Long ago we stormed this sea of wagons under winter's plan. You have stood at my side for many long years. Proudly, brother. Come. Let's share the balm of all torments, the soothing liquid of chaos. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Go on. 
instead of your balls. And ask her to shake asses with you. <laughs> well, I've never danced with anyone before. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old friend. Have you had enough fun? I'll save some for two to half crowd. Uh, uh, and was it oh you, old friend? The city is your way for here. Oh. Wait, you are not the warrior you used to be. Yeah. <laughs> 
how a leader should behave. Come to your senses. Have you had enough? I'll say to to crap. Uh, oh, 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 this tea here. Tra you are not the warrior you used to be. Treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my arm. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. It's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him.
Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert place. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I entered Jovik's Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper. If only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Thank you for treating Hytham. With respect and kindness, Eivor. He has found a family among your clan. He is more than welcome here. As are you. ago at a desert oasis, far away, a place of mystery, wonder, and a temple to a hill.
Um, this could come in very handy. These will come in very handy. Oh, that's a good one. You wouldn't regret it. I hope to s I have to go.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Smile like I haven't seen in some time. Over here. You, Eivor, thought I smelt you on the wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you've been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Eivor. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Avendinta, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? If mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anun, Conan helped Drews me. Breaks with Ma and Pa were the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see how good pass the gallery. That they were all clear sound. Right, no daylight to waste, then, huh? So the elder man may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Viking men? They go. from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. There is the Elder Man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be Elderman after Kuna. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? I am here as a friend to Gunnar. I do not like to make enemies when breaking bread, so tread careful, boy. 
Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowen. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then... By my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Help, what? Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the Reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, Lieth poor Kenhelm, Kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from?
Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. <laughs>